Hello, welcome. My name's Susie, and today we're going to open this Universal Yums box. So I think, I think this box is like $18 or $20. I'm not really good at remembering what they cost. I know there's like different options where you can get like more snacks for more money. And I think this is the smallest box, so there should be like between five and seven snacks in it. And I really think it was like $18, something like that. But basically each month they pick a different country and send you snacks that are like from there or are popular there or both, I think. And then you can kind of see what people snack on in different parts of the world. It's like a little bit educational, kind of fun to see. Something that would probably be good to do like if you're doing like homeschool or zoom school and you're doing geography. Kind of neat, right? Um, so yeah, I already got the box that was from Italy last time and they say that they don't cater to allergies like fair warning and I have plenty of them so I really could only eat like two or three of the things in the box and I didn't really like them but other people in my house could eat it and they liked it so that was fine. I am not really expecting them to, you know, cater to me and they do say that they do say that. So hopefully though, this box has a little bit more stuff in it that like I can actually try just because I mean, it would be kind of fun to be able to try the stuff, not to be needy or anything. So let's see what country we've got. Open the box and welcome to Turkey. I don't really know anything about Turkey. I don't know what they eat there. I I don't. So this will be kind of interesting because I really, like the other box that we got was Italy. So I was like kind of in my head already kind of knew a little bit about like what kind of food, like what, what maybe to expect. Uh, Turkey, I have no idea. <laughs> Do they eat lamb a lot? Maybe. I don't really know anything about Turkish food, cuisine, the country, the people, nothing, nothing. Probably spicy lamb curry. That is like what my conception in my head is. I don't know how accurate that is. So I guess I will read a little bit about it in the pamphlet that they sent and find out if that's the kind of stuff that they eat. I really don't know what to expect for a snack though. On the back of the card, they give you like a scoreboard so you can kind of rate everything that was your favorite. And then afterwards, you can go onto the website and like put that information in. And then it will tell you, I think at the end of the month, like what the most popular snack from that country was. So that's kind of cool. They send you a little magazine and I thought they sent you a sticker. The last one had a sticker, here it is. Uh, I had yum kebabs in Turkey. So I guess kebabs, okay. No idea. It says Turkey lies in both Europe and Asia, making it a hub of cultural influence. And you are about to taste them. Okay. To explore one country, two continents, and infinite yumminess? That depends. I'm real picky. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, here's a fun fact. The word shish kebab originates from Turkey. It means um, sword of roasted meat. That's kind of more fun, honestly. Sort of roasted meat, why don't we call them that? Shish kebab? Mm, no, sort of roasted meat for dinner, please. You know what I'm saying? Way better. There's descriptions of each of the snacks inside, so we will definitely look at that. Let's see, start here with Barret seasoned cracker chips. Barret, Barret, Barat. Hmm but I guess it's seasoned with Turkey's famous spice blend. And that would be these. They, they look spicy because they have these little spicy peppers on the bottom of it. It says, do you love plain boring snacks? Well, if so, you're going to hate these cracker chips. It's like they're talking to me. Okay. Every cranny of these ridge-packed barats are a blend with spices that are insanely popular across the Middle East and especially in Turkey. You'll hear the locals describe spicy hot food by saying barathi, barathi, which means seasons with spices. It's usually a mix of onion, garlic, parsley, thyme, and paprika. Oh, I like all those spices though. I thought spicy and I thought like peppers, like spicy peppers, hot, spicy Mexican peppers. So 
I guess that maybe I will like them. But I guess that they put that combination of spices on meat, veggies, and other dishes as well. Let's pop them open and give it a try. It does say warning that they are spicy, but I'm wondering if they just mean that they're heavily seasoned and not actually like spice. Oh, they smell spicy. <laughs> and they kind of look like Doritos, but circles. They look like circle Doritos. I love Doritos. Um, so if they're anything like Doritos, this will be awesome. I'm confused. I'm real confused because it feels like in my mouth I just ate like um like a Doritos Locos taco with the spicy sauce that you can put on it. That's what it feels like I just did, but it's a chip. They're not bad and it's not like buffalo hot spicy spicy spicy. They're not bad, but I don't think they're not bad, but I don't think I want to eat them. Like I feel like what I ought to do is crush this whole bag up and dump it into some ground beef and make tacos with it. That's what it kind of, it tastes like taco seasoning meets Doritos meets taco, but chip. So they're not awful, but they don't feel snackish to me. The taste is so strong. It's not spicy per se, but it's strong. Edible, yes. Snackish, no. They are very crunchy. They do have like a really good satisfying crunch. Could, could be better, could be worse. Not a bad start. The next thing that they show in the magazine is salted roasted chickpeas. Turkey's flavorful guilt-free obsession. Oh. Here they are. And it says, you can't walk down a Turkish street without seeing bags of labelli roasted chickpeas hanging from stall roofs. They're absurdly popular. I don't like chickpeas. I don't like hummus. I don't think I'm gonna like these at all. It says that the only ingredients are chickpeas and salt, and they're just roasted salted chickpeas, but they call them auto nuts, I guess, is the brand. They're non-GMO, they're vegan. In the whole bag, there's 12 grams of protein, and I guess it's a really popular snack. Ooh, I don't wanna eat these. I'm not allergic to them, and I don't wanna eat them. But I will try them. I will try one singular chickpea. And I don't think I'm gonna like it. it. Smells bad. It looks like a little half popped popcorn kernel. Ew. These are insanely popular. For what reason? For what reason? Ew. I feel like I ate an acorn. Yeah, if you love chickpeas, you probably would love these, but I don't get how they're like the most popular snack. Uh, they're terrible. I just don't, I don't eat acorns and that's what it tastes like to me. If an acorn has a taste, this is it. And it doesn't even taste like hummus. So not that I like hummus, but at least hummus, you kind of have like the, the, like the flavor of hummus, if that makes sense, and the texture. This is just like dry, awful, bad. Terrible. No, not eating those. I don't think anyone in my house is going to eat those, to be honest with you. They probably are about to become bird food. Well, I better look that up and see if birds can eat them. But all it is is dried chickpeas with salt. What's the worst they could do? Ugh gross maybe somebody else will eat them next on the list is a sweet thing so let's read the ingredients super quick before we get excited and see if i can even taste it uh today snowball with coffee cave cavelli cavelli but it looks good maybe i could eat this it says coconut and coffee snowball cake speckled with turkey's famous coffee beans i didn't know turkey was famous for coffee that's cool i love coffee if you look into the bottom of a Turkish coffee cup, you'll see something unusual, tons of powdered beans. 
Turkish coffee is made with unfiltered coffee beans, which means they are ground into a fine powder and then simmered with sugar water. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know how to do that, but I might look it up and try it. It's supposed to make you have a really thick, rich, and aromatic coffee. So I guess that this has the coffee beans on it also, and it's a white chocolate coconut cake. It contains wheat, egg, milk, coconut, and soy. Oh, so I can try this. I'm gonna try this. I have no idea what any of the words on the package say. So aside from made in Turkey and like the front part that says today snowball new, the rest of it's all in Tur Turkish. You know what I kind of thought would be in here and isn't in here? Like, you know, like the lion, the witch in the wardrobe and how they have Turkish delight candies. I don't know why I thought that would be like a thing. I don't know why they're called Turkish delights but I kind of thought that would be in here and I don't think it is. I'm not a fan of coconut. Like I don't hate coconut, I'll eat it, but I'm never gonna pick it first before anything else, except for maybe those chickpeas. So it's like completely covered in the chocolate and then the coffee flakes, I will call them flakes, are on top. This is delicious. Like I know I just told you that I don't love coconut, but oh my God, this is so good. This is really delicious. I was like really pretty sure that I wasn't gonna like this. Mm. It's so good. I'm gonna put it back and save the other half for later. It's really delicious. That's so, so good. I'm very surprised that I like that because, wow, I don't think, I didn't think I was gonna like that and that is so delicious. Mm. You can't get over that. That's so good. Definitely, this thing, definitely try it. That's really good. It's moist, the flavor is delicious, the texture is great. Yes, yes, so good. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, next up is cocoa cream cookies. Ah, yes, these people love chocolate. I love chocolate. Lush Mosaic cocoa cream cookies. Lush must be the brand. Here they are. What does it say about them? Cocoa cream mosaic cookies featuring Turkish tahini, hazelnut, and cocoa. Take a bite of this cookie and you'll taste a rich, smooth cocoa filling like any you've ever had before. Okay. I guess there's four cookies in a pack. I really can't eat them, but I really wish I could because if they're anything like that other cake, then, um... These are gonna be delicious too, just, just saying. So I'll save those for somebody else in the house that will like them. Somebody will eat them. And we also have this Turkish Icon Vanilla Tahini Halva. Halva. Tahini Halva. But it's vanilla flavored. I don't really know what tahini or halvas are. I don't know. In Turkey, it doesn't get more iconic than halva, which is an extraordinarily crumbly ground sesame confection that has been popular since the 11th century. The longest reigning sultan had a special kitchen in the palace made just for this that was called the House of Halva, where 30 versions of halva were produced constantly. Yeah, okay, I'll try this. I like sesame bagels, um, like, you know, sesame seeds on bagels. I never have really had it on anything but that, so I don't really, like, I guess in my head sesame goes with butter, because if I have a sesame seed bagel, I put butter on it. So I guess I wasn't expecting it to be something sweet. I can't open this package. 
so it feels really dense oh that's also not what i was expecting it to look like i kind of was expecting it to look like i don't know rolled in sesame seeds but this is kind of like it feels like bread dough like it's kind of squishy like bread dough but firm like clay it's like clay it feels like clay it smells awful it smells really bad now i'm kind of hesitant to eat it because it smells so bad oh, okay very crumbly and dry So I would rather eat the chickpeas than eat the halva. I don't know what this sultan was on where he thought this was a good idea. I didn't get vanilla from this at all. It just tastes so bad. It tastes like, like I feel like I was eating plaster of Paris powder. Really gross. So bad. So bad. Smells bad, tastes bad. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Nope. Moving right along, we have Turkish Sour Gummy Watermelons Babettos. Babetto. It looks like Haribo. Maybe it's Haribo's, but just Turkish? It says, since 1967, the city of Diyarbakar has hosted Turkey's annual Watermelon and Culture Festival. And I guess that it is like the place for the best watermelons and they carve them and have watermelon weighing contests and a watermelon beauty contest. And I guess that this is a super popular snack and they like watermelon flavored stuff there. Let's pop them open and give them a try. I'm sure they're just gummy bears, but watermelon. Like those Sour Patch Watermelon Kids, probably like that. Although probably not sour because they, they look pretty happy on the package. So there's striped little gummies that look like watermelon wedges. Yeah. Okay. They're fine. They're not like, um, they taste not like real, but I feel like they have less artificial flavoring than ours would. Oh, no, I guess that they are flavored with real fruit juice. Hmm. Okay. Because the, the flavor is like really faint, not faint, that's not the word. It's just got a light flavor. It's not like hit you in the face, artificial watermelon flavoring. So I guess these aren't awful. They're just like little gummies. They're just not as strongly flavored as basically everything else, except for maybe the chickpeas. So I was kind of expecting them to be like pop, but they're not, but they're not bad. So that's okay. Last but not least, I have this yum bag. And it says, what is yum bag? Um, you know the phrase, good things come in small packages. The yum bag is that phrase embodied. So there's little tiny small candies in here. And there's probably just a couple of each of them. In the yum bag, we are supposed to have mastic toffees, which um, I guess are from the trees on the island of Chico's. They're made of gum sap and all of its refreshing piney glory. Gum sap. Island of gum. Are you supposed to swallow it? Here's what it looks like. Toffee mastic. There's no English words on here. It's soft like a toffee should be. So that's good. I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat it, or if it's just gum. Pine gum sap. Is this gonna taste like an air freshener? You know what I'm saying? It smells like an air freshener. It smells like a Christmas tree. I feel like I, I'm eating a Christmas tree. It's not minty. For like half of a second, 
I thought it was mint, okay? Very brief second, it kind of tasted minty. And it didn't take very long at all for it to taste like exactly what they said, tree sap. And it tastes like, I, it tastes like a Christmas tree. I don't know why this is that popular. It's not a good flavor. It tastes like, lick a Christmas tree and tell me if you like it, okay? It's very strong and very gross. So these are more topics. Please don't be bad. And it says mellow mellow. And it has a picture of a lime on it, except for the title says lemon. So I guess it's lemon lime. It says, um, oh, melon and lime. Okay. The book says it's melon and lime flavored. So I guess the word lemon must mean melon or something like that. And I guess that they really love melons. So this is honeydew lime toffee. Again, very soft. This one doesn't smell like anything, which maybe is a good sign. So this one has a much more mild flavor. It's not really limey. It's definitely more melony. I could eat this. I wouldn't pick it over that coffee cake any day of the week, but it kind of makes me think of Laffy Taffy, but with a light lemon flavor. Okay, well, all in all, there was one, two, three, three things that you can't pay me to try again. I tried them once though, so you can't say I didn't try them. You know what I'm saying? I did try them. These are awful, but I know some people that would like them. They taste like eating acorns right off the ground. This thing is supposed to be like the most popular candy bar. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Just absolutely awful. I think that these would be delicious, but I can't eat them. So probably delicious though. I know people love hazelnut cream Nutella filled cookies. So probably like Nutella Oreos is the vibe I get off of these. These are okay. They're all right. I wouldn't go out of my way to get them again, um, but I'm not gonna throw them out. This thing is terrible. Don't eat trees. We don't eat them. It's not a thing. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. This other taffy was okay. It's fine. Good for like, I don't know, this would be a good Halloween candy. Maybe. These aren't bad. They're just not... They're just not what I think of when I think of crackers or chips, and it tastes like ground beef in a taco. That's what it tastes like to me. <laughs> They're not awful, but I'm not gonna probably finish this bag. I'm gonna give them away to somebody. And then like the crowning jewel of the whole box is this snowball, which is just a shock to me because I didn't think I was gonna eat this. Coffee with the coconut is so good. It's so delicious. Whoever would have thought that? I'm sure plenty of people like, you know, get the Samoa's coffee creamer or whatever. And they're like, duh, of course that tastes good. But I'm not a coconut eating person. So this is really delicious. That's high praise. You're lucky I even bit that because I was gonna not eat it. So that is everything that I got in the box from Turkey. All in all, I think this is a better box than the Italy box. Um, if I was gonna purchase any one thing again, it would be this. If I had to choose two other things to get again, it would probably be these taffies and, and I guess these gummies. I was gonna say the chips for half of a second, except for I really wouldn't eat a whole bag of those. And like, if you gave me this bag at the movie theater, I would eat it, you know what I'm saying? But if we were at the movies and you gave me this, I wouldn't finish it. Definitely by far for me, the worst thing in the box, even more so than this terrible bar, it was this pine sap taffy. Ew, ew. It was a close second, because this was pretty bad. This was like eating plaster of Paris. But this was a strong, disgusting flavor. At least this is a subtle, disgusting flavor, you know what I'm saying? Like you could pinch your nose and probably eat it, but you would need a lot to drink because it's so dry. This is kind of still stuck in my mouth. Yeah. So I'm gonna go brush my teeth now. Um, so it is neat to try the different stuff and I'm glad that I could try most of these things. The only thing I really couldn't try was just this, this one thing and it probably is delicious. So doesn't that just figure, you know? Um, wish I didn't get to try this. <laughs> But all in all, pretty good. 
If you think any of these things sounded good, you can head over to the Universal Yums website and you could get them and try them there. I'm really curious to see what comes in the next one. I really am liking this box because it's different each time and it's from different places and it's kind of educational, so that's kind of cool. Um, I like knowing stuff, you know? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and it would really just kind of make my day and I would appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit like or subscribe and until I have another video, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!